G'day, g'day folks, Lone Mojo here, and today we're going to be taking a look at how to find and extract tar from Valheim. But before we get too far, if you find this video useful, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. I'm also live streaming on Twitch, and you can find me through the link in the description below. Now, let's go get some tar. A few days ago, I released a fairly short video on how to find and extract tar, and it got me thinking I probably should do something a little bit more explanation around it. So, in this video, we're going to be looking at where to find tar and how to extract it. So, tar is used for making dark metal wood structures, which is a late game building option. Tar itself can be found in tar pits, which are located in the plains biome. Now, if your save came from prior to Home and Hearth's release, you're going to need to find an unexplored plains biome. If you've already explored all the plains biomes, you're not going to find any tar pits there, unfortunately. In order to extract the tar, you're going to need a pick of some description. So you really can't get the tar until at least after you've killed Ixia. Now you can do it at any point after that, but that does mean going to the plains. And as we all know, going to the plains is fraught with danger. Not only do you have to worry about death skeetos and fullings, there's also a new enemy type called a growth, which we'll talk about in a minute. So how do you find a tar pit? The easiest way is to look for one of the few signs that a tar pit is there. The first being the long dead remains of an animal, probably a lox, which you can mine using a pickaxe. The other tell is the spitting oozes or the growths that I mentioned earlier. They can be spotted from a distance because they'll often be putting on a bit of a show, spitting ooze, making it look like a black fountain from a distance. Now your first big challenge is going to be dealing with these growths. They hit hard, like really hard, and they'll hit you with two different status effects, one being poison and one being tarred so when you're hit by their stream you'll be slowed down making it a lot easier for them to catch you if you get attacked by more than one it's very easy for them to kill you so i would recommend having a nearby spawn point or a portal to save you a lot of time running back now each of these growths does yield a tar when you defeat them however it's a very inefficient way of collecting tar once you do clear out all of the growths from the pit, you can start to look at how you can get to the tar itself. Now, the resource that you're going to be looking for is a sort of a node in the tar pit itself. You might find that some are outside of the tar, so they're on the ground around the tar, while others will be stuck in the tar. And if you interact with those ones, you'll get the message saying that this is stuck. For the ones that are on the outside, they're simple enough. You walk up to them and press the interaction button, you'll get a number of resources. But for the ones stuck in the tar, we need to drain the tar out. And the easiest way to do that is to dig a channel leading the tar away. And as you do this, this will drain the tar to the new channel spot. Now it might take a little bit of work, but you should be able to get all of the tar out. And each tar pit will yield a decent amount of tar. I'm usually taking back stacks of four or five back to home base with it. One of the downsides of tar is that it is a finite resource in the tar pits. So once you've drained it, you won't be able to collect tar from that pit again. It will still spawn growths, so you, technically you can go back and farm them. But as I said earlier, it's a very inefficient way of getting tar. So hopefully that gives you everything you need to know to collect tar and start building with some of the new darkwood structures. If you've got any great tips about how to farm tar, please pop them in the comments below. And until next time, keep gaming.